Happy Sunday, beautiful souls. Shamama Hunting Owl with your weekly reading for the Twin Flames for the this week. What is this? I don't even know what today's date is. I don't know um, what is today. August 28th um, until September 2nd, 3rd, I guess. Um, although I kind of feel like this is more up until um, Wednesday's date, the 31st. Um, I hope you guys are all doing super, super well. Um, I want to say thank you first to everyone who has reached out. Um, the response from my last video about stepping out of the closet for the twins has been enormous and amazing and the love and support that has come from you guys, not just for me but for each other, for the community has been just overwhelming. Um, I've really tried to keep up with everybody's um, messages, comments, stories. So. Um, Understand I'm only one person and it's been I've been just inundated with with responses So if there's anybody I missed, I'm really sorry. Don't think that I don't love you, please um, You all mean so much to me um, It's just that it's been super super crazy. I've had hundreds and hundreds of people since I put out that video um, contact me personally and I've attempted to make contact back with every single one of you um, I also want to thank all my new subscribers, viewers, um, you know, this, this is happening around the world, guys. We are all banding together as twins, and the outpouring of love has just been so beautiful. Um, thank you everybody who has donated to my channel, who has um, scheduled private sessions for readings and healings from me. Um, We've been doing a lot of really super powerful work, guys, purging, releasing, getting through our stuff, um, and, and helping us get into the right place and ready for union. So with that, um, I think that's all the technical business that I needed to cover. Um, don't forget, uh, August 31st, before you go to bed, wherever you are in the world, you know, I am a twin flame, if it so resonates with you um, on your social media. I know some people did ask me about we should set up like a hashtag or something. Honest to God, guys, I am so not technological um, and not all up on like the whole hashtagging thing. So if there's somebody who wants to start that movement and contact me and, and I will get that message out before we, um, before we do this on Wednesday, um, that would be awesome. And so with that, I think that's all the business, and here is our reading for this week. I did go back to the usual masculine, feminine, and energies in the middle because that's what I was called to. I am using the Energy Oracle cards by um, Sandra Ann Taylor this week, and I also drew a card from the Magdalene Oracle deck, um, which is Tom, Tom, bleh, Tony Carmine Salerno's deck, and it's gorgeous, and I love it. Um, and it all really plays in just beautifully with the way this reading has, has kind of come up, come, come to me. So, we start with the masculine energy. We have the man holding a heart. To me, the message that I received with this is the love is in their hearts. They're integrating all of these new emotions. It is there. They are connected um, with the love that they feel. They are um, at times overwhelmed, the masculine energy, by this love that they're feeling. It is so powerful, it is so strong. Um, they are truly feeling connected. Um, I also feel like they are, you know, like the guy in the, the picture, the guy in the card, he's sitting very comfortably with it. Um, and I feel like the masculine is finally getting comfortable with feeling all of these emotions. Um, I don't think they're as scared as they were. I think they're really like starting to believe it and comfortable with it. So it, it's a beautiful energy. Um, I also feel like they have connected now their head with their heart. Um, that, that it's all starting to make sense to them in their, in their minds, in their thoughts. Um, feeling the energy, feeling the love and knowing that, that they need to make changes in their lives now. Um, I also picked for the masculine energy was the fifth chakra card, Archangel Gabriel, 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 however you want to say it. Um, and this is the throat chakra. 
It's about speaking your truth. And for the masculine, they are now ready to start speaking their truth as the divine masculine, integrating their masculine and feminine qualities together and, and honoring what they feel in their as their will. You know, they want to get their lives together. They want their souls to be happy. They, they want to speak from their heart, from their soul, from their deepest, deepest parts. Um, so it's really beautiful. And, and they're ready to do that. I mean, they are ready to start communicating. Um, it may not be directly to us, but to the world to start stepping into and speaking their truth as they live their lives day to day. Um, so yeah, so the for, so for the feminine, we have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is all about your crown chakra, ladies, feminine, ladies, gentlemen, the feminine energy. Um, I hate these stereotypes. I wish there was a better way to classify us. Um, anyway, whatever, because um, I'm not excluding anybody. But the feminine energy, okay, so here we go. Blah, sorry for getting off on my little tangent. Um, getting in touch with your higher selves. This is what we're doing, ladies, gentlemen, feminine energy. Um, really just, just zoning in on who we are knowing it, feeling it, believing it. Um, I look at that card and, and the beautiful purple glow around her crown. This is, this is where we're at. We are truly integrating and drawing into our higher selves. Um, have some faith, have some belief, self-confidence self in what you're feeling and what you're hearing and what you're being guided to do. Because you are truly, we are now truly coming from our higher selves. It, our, it is our higher self speaking to us. I know when I started going through this whole transformation for myself personally, there was a time when I would sit down and I would actually hear a voice. It was as my higher self. I was as if I was being spoken to. Um, and that was super cool. And I was like, yay, I know it's my higher self cause, or, or universe spirit speaking to me. And I know as I went through this process of, of integrating my higher self into my being, that voice went away. It became sort of different. It was almost like, hello, where'd you go, little voice? And then I realized it was, it was an all-knowing, that, that it was, I didn't need to hear it because I knew I felt it. Um, I had, it was able to integrate that voice inside of me. So I didn't need to hear that direct guidance because I felt it. I knew it. It was part of who I was and who I am. And I think that this is a message for all of the feminine energies to really believe and integrate that voice that you hear into your heart, into your soul, into your being, and really get in touch this week with your higher self. The next card we have for the Divine Feminine is Blossoming Abundance. And this card says it all. I mean, it really doesn't need to be explained. Um, everything good is coming to us. Everything that we've hoped for, wished for in all areas of our lives are coming into fruition now. Um, embrace it. Love it. Um, stay in, in, in contact with what your true heart's desires are. You know, an important part of this blossoming abundance is staying positive, truly manifesting from a loving, unconditional place, not from a fear base. You know, when we start putting out our fears is when we get into that place of lack and, and, and you manifest just more lack. So, so understand staying positive, seeing it as you have it now already. Um, and it's actually really interesting because someone gave me an amazing piece of advice and I can't remember who it was um, and I wish I did but I'm giving credit to whoever this was that we always talk about being in separation with our twin and we keep using those words and putting those words out to the universe that we're in separation you know what guys we need to stop that we need to stop it now because we are never in separation with our twin we may be in the 3D, not with them on a regular basis or communicating with them, 
but we are always with our twin and our twin is always with us we are each other we are always connected so I want everybody to stop saying they're in separation because we are not in separation we have never been in separation we have always been with our twin and our twin has always been with us so okay off my soapbox about that okay and thank you for whoever like reminded me of that because I too needed to be reminded of that that my twin is always with me um, Okay, so the cards in the middle that join the energies. The first card we have is the action card, and I love this, because to me this is truly the masculine chasing the feminine. Um, they are ready to move, we are ready to move, we are taking the steps, the action steps, the true action steps to get us ready to make this huge change. As the energies are coming in this week, um, and over the whole month of September, I feel like it's really going to be important for us to keep our heads clear, to keep our hearts clear, to, to take the guided steps toward action from our heart center, not from our ego. Um, you know, this, this solar eclipse new moon on the first is huge. Then again, we have a lunar eclipse again um, for the full moon around, I don't know if it's the 16th or the 18th of September. And then there's again going to be a huge energy flux around the 21st of September. So for the first three weeks, we are going to get hit with some pretty, pretty powerful energies. And we need to utilize those energies and take the action steps that we're being called to take. Because the feminine and the masculine are going to be taking these steps during this period of time. This is our time to shine, guys. Now the last card I got, I kind of got confused when I first looked at it. And this is the action, this is also in the, the joining action of, of the twins. And it's walking away. And I had to sit with this for a minute because when I first looked at it, I'm like, seriously, what are we walking away from? It's not each other. I know that. So what is it? And as I sat, I, you know, the messages that came to me were, these are, are uh, old habits are all old relationship patterns. We are finally, the masculine and the feminine, ready to release all of these things. You know, um, it's, it's the final push, I feel like, guys, to rid yourself of these huge, huge obstacles that have been holding us back. You know, I believe it's the masculine coming into him saying, I can't live this life anymore. It's us saying we want to change the way things are for ourselves. So it's time to put an end to the 3D matrix stereotypes of relationships, um, of, of what they're supposed to be, of what we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to be, um, and walk away from these things that have tied us down for so long, these ridiculous patterns that we've set um, either through our childhood through our influences, through our own beliefs, and, and set ourselves free from them. Walk away, go beyond the gate, and go out into the full pasture where there is so much waiting for you. Um, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful card. At the bottom of the deck we I had um, was the uh, Angel of Love, and that is truly a twin card. It's all about the compassion, the love, the feelings that we have for each other, guys. Um, so with that, I pulled a card from the Magdalene deck, and this ties right in, guys, it, with the Surrender card. I believe it ties right in to this Walking Away card. And I am going to read the passage. This is such a beautiful, beautiful card from the Magdalene deck, because I feel like um, just me summarizing it wasn't enough for you guys, because there is such beautiful language to it, and I feel like somebody needs to hear this message directly. Maybe more than somebody, maybe a lot of somebody's. So, okay, it says surrender. At present it seems that the harder you try, the more things want to elude you. There's not much you can do at the moment except wait. Surrender your expectations and be patient. In time, you will get what you want, though this may not come in the form you may expect. In the meantime, remember that you cannot control how others view things or what they think, say, or do. In time you will come to realize 
that the current events are a blessing. You will emerge from this period of your life with a newfound sense of clarity, which will enable you to move forward in life with confidence. The emotional ups and downs you are currently experiencing will soon stabilize. So that's from the Magdalene Oracle, guys. And um, with that, that is this week's reading. If you guys have questions, comments, anything you want to share, you guys know how to reach me. Um, I love reading your stories. I love hearing from you guys. Again, any of you who go to, um, who want to support the September 1st coming out of the twins, um, hit me up on my Shamama Hunting Owl page on Facebook, please. And um, if you want to uh, be a personal friend of mine, just send me a private message and um, on the Shamama page and I will um, either request you or have you request me. I've been hit with so many requests that I've been just asking people, you know, here's my name, add me when they send the message. Um, I love you guys. If you need to reach me, also if you want readings um, or healings done anytime soon or in the future, it, my website is uh, www.shamamahuntingowl.com. All the information is there on what you need to do and what I offer for my sessions and the prices. And with that, thank you all again. And as always, sending so much love and light. Gratitude and blessings to you all. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.